We must add the given radical expressions. In order to add or subtract radicals, we must have like radicals. Like radicals are radicals where the radical part is exactly the same, which means like radicals have the same index and the same radicand. Before we identify like radicals though, we need to make sure the radicals are simplified. Looking at our first example, we have 4 square root 5 plus 3 square root 5. First notice how both square roots are simplified, and because both radicals contain the square root of 5, these are like radicals, and we can determine the sum. More formally, these are like radicals because both indexes are equal to 2, and both radicands are equal to 5. We add like radicals, just like we add like terms. So if we can determine the sum of, let's say, 4x and 3x, we can determine the sum of these two like radicals. 4x plus 3x is equal to 7x. To add like terms, we add the coefficients. 4 plus 3 is equal to 7, and the variable part remains exactly the same. So when it comes to adding or subtracting like radicals, we treat the radical as if it was a variable. So 4 square root 5 plus 3 square root 5 equals 7 square root 5. We obtained the 7 by adding the 4 and the 3, and the square root of 5 remained exactly the same. Number 2, we have 3 square root 3 plus square root 7 plus 9 square root 7 plus 2 square root 3. First, notice how all these square roots are simplified, but not all of these are like radicals. Notice the first and fourth radicals contain the square root of 3, so these two are like radicals, and the second and third radicals contain the square root of 7, and therefore these two radicals are like radicals. Or again, more formally, the first and fourth radicals are like radicals because both have an index of 2 and a radicand of 3. The second and third radicals are like radicals because both have an index of 2 and a radicand of 7. We determine this sum just like we would determine the sum of, let's say, 3x, plus y plus 9y plus 2x. Notice for this variable expression, the first and fourth terms are like terms, and so are the second and third terms. Combining the like terms, 3x plus 2x is equal to 5x. We have 5x plus y or 1y plus 9y equals 10y. So applying the same idea to the sum of the radical expressions, 3 square root 3 plus 2 square root 3 equals 5 square root 3. So we have 5 square root 3 plus square root 7 or 1 square root 7 plus 9 square root 7 equals 10 square root 7. For the last example, number 3, we have 5 square root x plus 4 square root xy plus square root x. Remember, like radicals have exactly the same radical part. So for this expression, only the first radical and the third radical are like radicals. Both have an index of 2 and a radicand of x. Notice for this radical, the index is 2, but the radicand is xy, not x. So we can only add the first and third radicals. So 5 square root x plus 1 square root x is equal to 6 square root x, so the sum is 6 square root x, and we still have plus 4 square root xy. I hope you found this helpful. We're asked to determine the sum of the given radical expressions. In order to add radical expressions, we must have like radicals, like radicals or radicals, in which a radical part is exactly the same which means like radicals have the same index and the same radicand. However, before we identify the like radicals, we must first simplify each radical completely. So for number 1, we have 2 square root 18 plus square root 50. The first step is to simplify the square root of 18 and the square root of 50. To do this, 
We need to identify any perfect square factors of 18 and 50. We will do this by looking at the prime factorization of 18 and 50. So this is equal to 2 times the square root of the prime factorization of 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Notice how this shows 18 contains a perfect square factor of 3 times 3 or 3 squared. And then we have plus the square root of the prime factorization of 50 is 2 times 5 times 5. Notice this shows us that 50 contains the perfect square factor of 5 times 5 or 5 squared. Let's write this one more time using exponents before we simplify the square roots. This is equal to 2 times the square root of 2 times 3 squared plus the square root of 2 times 5 squared. And now we'll simplify the square roots. The square root of 3 squared simplifies to 1 factor of 3. And because we already have a 2 here, we multiply the 2 and the 3. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. This simplifies to 6 square root 2 plus the square root of 5 squared simplifies to 1 factor of 5. This simplifies to plus 5 square root 2. Now that we've simplified both square roots, notice how we do have alike radicals because both terms contain the square root of 2. Or more formally, these are like radicals because both have an index of 2 and a radicand of 2. And we add like radicals, just like we add like terms, treating the radical, or in this case the square root, as if it was a variable. So 6 square root 2 plus 5 square root 2 equals 11 square root 2. We added the 6 and the 5 to get 11, and the square root 2 remained the same. For number 2, we have x times the cube root of x squared y to the fifth plus y times the cube root of x to the fifth y squared. The first step is to simplify both cube roots. Because we have a cube root, or because the index is 3, we're looking for groups of three equal factors of the radicand. So for this first radical, we have x times the cube root. x squared does not contain any perfect cube factor, so we have x squared. But y to the fifth does have a perfect cube factor of y to the third. Let's write y to the fifth as y to the third times y squared. And then we have plus y times the cube root of x to the fifth y squared. Because we're looking for perfect cube factors, Let's write x to the fifth as x to the third times x squared, and we still have times y squared. Again, because we're looking for perfect cube factors, let's go ahead and circle the perfect cubes under the radicals. So y cubed is a perfect cube, and so is x cubed. And now let's simplify. The cube root of y cubed is equal to one factor of y. Because we already have an x here, we multiply the x and the y which gives us xy times the cube root of x squared y squared plus the cube root of x cubed is equal to one factor of x. And because we already have a y here, we multiply the x and the y, giving us xy times the cube root of x squared y squared. Now that we've simplified, notice how we do have two like radicals because the radical part is exactly the same, meaning both indexes are equal to 3, and both radicands are x squared, y squared. So we can determine the sum. To determine the sum, we add the expressions in front of the cube roots, xy plus xy is equal to 2xy, and therefore the sum is equal to 2xy times the cube root of x squared, y squared. So notice how to determine the sum, we added xy and xy to get 2xy, and the radical part, or the cube root of x squared, y squared, remained exactly the same. I hope you found this helpful.